Hello guys, this weekend Manchester United have to face Newcastle at Old Trafford and I do believe it's a late game on Sunday, so let's uh, let's talk about that, let's cue the intro. Oh no, welcome back to Match Day Live, it's me Dan back again. And to, uh, this weekend, sorry, I should say, uh, Manchester United have to face Newcastle. It's the late game on Sunday. Um, yeah, it's just a you know uh, late game on Sunday. So I think it kicks off at seven or something like that. It's a bit weird, a bit of a weird time uh, the kick off. But the team I've gone for, um, I think it, what will it probably will be it will be uh, Martial up top with Rashford on the left, Greenwood on the right. And then obviously Fred and McTominay in midfield and I reckon obviously Fernandez as the cam. And then I reckon it will be Luke Shaw Maguire. Hopefully it will be Eric Bailly because I think he deserves to start uh, over Eric, uh, Eric Victor Lindelof and obviously wan in there. Um, I'm actually going to play Henderson. I think Henderson deserves a start in the Premier League. I think David Haya needs a couple games out, I think, personally, uh, which we'll get into that in a second. Actually, no, no. Let's do De Gea because he actually he kind of made up for it in the in the uh, last game. Um, right, so let's get into it. Let's play match and let's talk about last week's result. Well, we've got a couple of results to talk about. Um, the first one was against West Brom. Um, it's one of them. It's one of them games. We drew one one. Um, again, we started really slow. United. I don't know. I. <laughs> I seriously do not know. United were... Ugh, we were just poor all over the park. Um, we didn't really get started. Um, you know, Dia, Dia, is it Diania? Uh, scored first. It was just a cross into the box. No one... Uh, clip, well, Victor Lindelof just gets bullies on the bullied on the ball. And uh, Diania scores and David Gea can't do anything about it. Would have, good, would have been a good save if he... Uh, uh, got to it, but again, it's the defense that you know they pushed out the first time, and then second time uh, they didn't push out, and you know the cross came in, and no wonder why Diane, uh, Diagne or Diane scored. Um, but yeah, that was one nil, and to be honest, they had a couple of good chances. West Brom in that first half to, you know, to uh, get the uh, get a two goal lead. Um, but thankfully, like some of the shots were, you know, easily, easily um, savable from David De Gea. So, yeah, one nil, Diana, and then all of a sudden, obviously, we kind of woke up a bit. We started playing a bit more better, and in the end, we did get a goal, uh, an equaliser, right before half time. Uh, it was this man, Bruno Fernandez. It was a Luke Shaw cross, and it was just a volley. Um, a really controlled volley. Um, Sam Johnson, no chance, and it was a good, it was a good uh, goal. And of course, you know what would, what, where would we be without Bruno Fernandez? I mean, what a player. Um, so then that was one-one. So that was pretty much it, to be honest. Um, second half, we didn't really do much. Um, we just, you know, we just passed the ball around like we normally do. We just couldn't get. We just could not break that defense of. Um, of West Brom, and in the end, you know, we was just, we was just, you know, doing things. And Harry Maguire uh, did have a couple of chances. Um, well, Harry Maguire tried to get a penalty. Uh, it was a soft penalty. Um, the referee did give it, but I think he was right to go to the VAR. And, um, you know, it, it wasn't a penalty. He tried to win a penalty. Um, it was a good uh, decision from VAR. Um, but Harry Maguire did have a chance. He had a, a header that hit the post. I think the goalkeeper, Sam Johnson, uh, made a save and it went onto the post. He only just got fingertips to it, but it was a really good save from the goalkeeper. And he was unlucky not to score onto the post. And that was the best chance of the game uh, to win it right at the end as well. Um, so, so we were, so, you know, I couldn't believe we missed. <laughs> um, we had chances to score, but, you know, we we're not the best of chances, really. Um, so the, yeah, the game did finish up as uh, one-one. You know, drop points again. Pretty much gave City the title now. Ten points ahead. They won their game as well. They beat uh, who did they beat? They beat um, 
Did they beat Liverpool? Was it Liverpool? Or was it... I'm not, I'm not too sure who it was. But they won their game anyway. Um, and then they won their game in midweek. So they are currently 10 points ahead of us now. So, yeah, it looks like it will be Man City's title. It's their title to lose now, which I very, very doubt they'll lose this uh, title now. They, they just look... You know, they look... Something changed in that um, Chelsea... Was it the Chelsea game, I'm pretty sure? You know, they won that Chelsea game and since then they've won like 10 or 11 games in a row in the league and it's just yeah I don't know they looked a totally, totally different team that started the uh, campaign anyway um, yeah after that after our game we had a game in Europa League our first Europa League tie which was against Real Sociedad oh what a goal that is um, and we won that game 4-0 a totally different performance uh, although Real Sociedad kind of gave it to us in the end. You know, they gave us the time and space, you know, where we can counter-attack really well and uh, kind of gave Bruno Fernandes his time and space and you can't give him that time and space. Um, we did get the first goal through um, Bruno Fernandes. This was a lob ball over, uh, from Rashford. Rashford himself did have two chances to score right before then. And I was going to say, you know, I was really frustrated at that point. You know, where he had, you know, two or three good chances, Rashford, to score in that game. And it just looked like it wasn't going to happen for him. Um, but he did get an assist. Uh, he get two assists, actually. Uh, the first goal, which was uh, for Bruno Fernandes. Uh, it's just a ball looped over to the top. And uh, both goalkeeper and the two defenders both go for it. And it just falls to Bruno Fernandes and he puts it into the open net. So then that was 1-0. And then again it was... Uh, who got the second? I'm trying to think who got the second. Oh, what was a goal again, Martial? <laughs> I'm trying to think who got the second. Uh, I know Bruno Fernandes got two. Did we score the second in the second half? I'm pretty sure we did, didn't we? Um... Yeah, we got this. We got the second goal through um, Bruno Fernandez second half, and he uh, yet again it's a one-two with, uh, with uh, it was a one-two with Rashford, and then it went back to the ball went to Dan James, and he kind of laid it off for Bruno Fernandez, and it was just like under his feet, and he just placed it in the net. Another good finish. So then that was two 0 um, and then we got the third goal through Rashford. Uh, yet again, the time and space was there to counter-attack. Uh, this time it was Fred with the assist. And it, this time Rashford, he ain't gonna... <laughs> he wasn't gonna mess that one up. 3-0. And uh, I think he deserved the goal, um, Rashford, in the end. Um, I was like, yeah, finally, he can score. Um, it, Greenwood played pretty well in that uh, Real Sociedad game as well. So did Dan James. Um, Henderson as well played really well. Um, we saw Eric Bailly as well. Um, Tellez played okay as well. You know, we pretty much played all okay, really. Um, in midfield, I think there might be a worry for this weekend. I'm not too sure the um, Solskjaer's press conference is a couple of minutes away. Um, I normally record it after the the Solskjaer's press conference to see, you know, who's fit and available for this weekend. Um, but we'll I'll have to look at that next, um, well, after <laughs> the video, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we did get our fourth goal through Dan James. It was another, it was, this time it was a good through ball from Eric Bailly. And what a strike it was from Eric Bailly. Uh, well, not not a strike, what a pass from Eric Bailly uh, for Dan James. And then Dan James just went all the way and he put it past the goalkeeper. I thought he was going to um, tramp it to Jallo because Jallo came on for the last couple of minutes. And um, I think Jallo, if he he tried to nick it, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, Dan James, a good finish from him. And I think he played pretty well. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he started again next week. Um Obviously, uh, a couple of injuries um, that we do know about. Um, one was Cavani. He looks like he's out for a couple of games, apparently. Um, another one is Donny van der Beek. Apparently, he pulled up in trainee, training. Uh, obviously, um, what's his name? Paul Pogba is still unavailable. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to be, you know, try to, you know, we'll have Martial. I reckon up top for this game against uh, top Newcastle. And I think, you know, it, it will be a hard game against Newcastle. I think, you know, they 
kind of uh, had a good victory against who is it? I think was it against um, Wolves a couple a couple of weeks ago, and then obviously they lost the last uh, last game against. Uh, hang on, I'm trying to think. Whilst the computer is playing it at the at the yeah, so they lost to Chelsea two 0 but they beat um, they beat Southampton, didn't they? Three uh, two. Um, so they've been, you know, Newcastle this uh, this season. There, it's a again, it's one of them sides down the down the bottom, and you know it. It's going to be one of them games, isn't it? It's either United are going to turn up like they did against Ralph Sociedad, or they're not going to turn up and, um, you know, let the first team score, uh, which will probably will be, um, you know, they'll probably let Newcastle score, knowing us but we definitely need the three points um also this week you know uh harry Maguire and solskjaer did say that we apparently we are in the title race um which you know i doubt we are now because you know we've lost like so many games in a row well we've dropped points in so many games um the last couple of weeks you know we just need a good uh win at home in the premier league and you know, Newcastle would be the team to do it against. Um, we beat them at St James Park, obviously. Um, but it will be... What the hell has just happened there? Uh, it will be a good a game to get some goals in. And hopefully we will get some goals. Um, hopefully this guy gets a goal. I think he deserves a goal. Um, Greenwood, he's been playing really well recently. Um, he was unlucky He was unlucky not to score against Real Sociedad. And um, West Brom, so... I think he definitely needs to get a victory at some point. Um, but yeah, we definitely, like I said, we definitely need to stop stop drawing. We need to get the points and then just, you know, hope and pray may, maybe Man City drop points. But we all know that's not going to happen. Um, so yes, for my score prediction, um, I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I do not know. It depends who plays because... Um, I expect Rashford and Bruno Fernandes will play. Um, if Cavani's for, not fit, I reckon Martial will play. I, I would be. It would be nice to see like um, Jallo start or someone like that, or even Dan James. Just to ref well, uh, although Dan Dan James played, you know, all the game against Real Sociedad. Um, but yeah, to get a four 0 away victory with four away goals, it pretty much settles that tie as well. So next week, uh, um, next week at Old Trafford, luckily we can play at Old Trafford as well, we can um, you know pretty much control the game, well you know we can pretty much uh, play our second team really um, can't we again so and then I think next, uh, the next big game is Chelsea so yeah definitely next weekend you know it will be a top four type of game um, so for my score prediction I reckon United will win, I think United might not turn up again but I reckon United will probably get the first goal and you know Newcastle will be dangerous for us but I think United might just win it just um so I'm, for my score prediction I'm going to go 2-1 Man United I reckon Newcastle will score but I reckon United will score as well um so hopefully we'll get the good result this time this week Ho hopefully fingers crossed touch wood um otherwise I don't want a poor performance again <laughs> Especially against West Brom. That's such a poor performance against West Brom. We just can't take our chances at the moment. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm actually going to end it here, guys. So please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your score, prediction be score predictions below. So right, I'm going. Bye.